do you feel like you spend far too long on social media scheduling your posts and getting your stuff out there if so then this video is for you because today I'm going to show you how I use a tool called CoSchedule to schedule a month's worth of posts to promote my blogs and videos in just about 10 minutes so if that sounds good to you uh, then stay tuned Hi, I'm Colette Broomhead and this is Business Class Monday. Hey everyone, welcome to my laptop. You are currently looking at my co-schedule social media calendar and you can see all the social media posts that I currently have scheduled. Um, I wanted to show you this first. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how I use co-schedule to schedule uh, a month's worth of social media posts every time I publish a new blog post or video uh, and it takes me about 10 minutes so it's a really really handy tool uh, so this is the calendar um, we're going to move away from here because this isn't actually where I schedule uh, my posts I feel like I've said schedule like a million times already <laughs> uh, anyway so co-schedule integrates with WordPress which is super handy and so that is where I schedule all my posts so we're gonna head there now so I've created this uh, dummy post that we can use today so I can show you um, so those of you who use WordPress I'm sure will recognize this page and co-schedule itself appears once you've integrated it just down here and in order to create your um, social media posts uh, you just click here on add a social campaign here we've got social templates and you'll see that I've already created a template for new blog posts so I'm going to click apply on that and it brings my lovely template up so this is a template that I've created before and all you do is you when you're creating a template you say on which days um, you want to post to which channels um, and the type of content that you want to use uh, when you post. So you'll see on the same day as published, I've said I want to publish to Twitter, to Pinterest, to Twitter again a bit later, to LinkedIn and Facebook. And so it goes on. And I've created this template right up for a whole month of posts. So we go all the way down here to um, 30 days after publishing. And that temp template basically remains the same. So every new blog post that I publish, um, I will use the same template each time um, for all my social media. So once you've created your template, you also have things called social helpers and you have text helpers and image helpers, which are just down here on the left. And again, these are templates that you can use. So the text helpers um, are basically where you can say what type of copy you want to use um, for each of those social media posts so that you're not using the same copy for every single one which of course would be very kind of dull and monotonous for your audience so I've created a number of text helpers so that I can mix up my copy so the first three here h1 h2 and h3 are th where I can enter three different headlines that I can use um, and then you'll see I've got snippet benefit question um, contro, which is um, my just shortened version of controversial, uh, humour, and then I've got a couple of hashtags and a quote. And basically, these are all different types of content that will hopefully um, encourage people to click on my blog post. So people will often, you know, um, be tempted in if you're writing something controversial or if you're writing something funny um, or if you're highlighting the benefit that they'll get from reading and so on. Um, so these are just kind of like little... Um, prompts for me um, every time I publish a new post to the type of content I want to use on my social media so um, then you've got your image helpers and so I've kind of said each time I want to use a couple of images for Facebook a couple of images for Twitter um, and a couple for Pinterest um, I could also have added some for LinkedIn but I tend to just use the ones for Facebook for LinkedIn and then <clears throat> if we go back to the template itself um, you'll see um, here I've said which elements, which of those help social text and image helpers um, I want to use um, for each post. Okay, so let's begin. So all it is now is a case of filling out these helpers with the content that I want to use. 
Um, so I've pre-prepared um, the content to save time, um, and I've just copied it up here so that I can just copy and paste it over. Um, but normally, obviously, you would just type it straight into your into your helpers. So heading one, I've just used as the same heading. Um, and then I will just fill out all of these uh, and I'll see you at the end. Okay, there we are at the end. I've put in all my social helpers. Um, so let's just have a quick look. So question, for example, do you want to know how to post a month of social media in 10 minutes? Uh, we've got uh, controversial, why I can schedule my social media way faster than you can, um, and so on. Um, and then it's just a case of putting your images in. So I've created some images using Canva, which is a fantastic tool um, for creating um, sort of professional looking uh, images. So we'll just pop those in. There we go. For the sake of this post, I haven't done separate images for um, face for Facebook, etc. I've just used the same one. But you can, of course, create multiple images for each channel so that you can kind of mix up your content even more. Sometimes with Twitter, especially. Um, I like to find um, a GIF that I can use, just to, again, GIFs tend to work quite well um, with Twitter, um, and it goes, so usually for the kind of humour part of my um, text helper, I'll add a humorous GIF to go with that, um, and that works, that works quite well. And there we have it, and now you can see where it's filled in everything. So we can now just click apply up at the top here. And there you have it. And you can see, and you just scroll down. And one thing to keep an eye out for is in case any of your text helpers um, make your social posts too long. So, for example, for Twitter, for Twitter, where you have um, a character limit, um, you want to make sure that the helper that you've put in isn't going to um, exceed that. And if it has, you'll get a little error message telling you. Um, so just scroll down, keep an eye out, make sure there aren't any error messages coming up saying that your content is too long. And that all looks fine. Um, so then you can just... Save your draft um, as you would normally and schedule in your post. And those month worth of social media posts are all ready to go and you don't have to do anything more with them. So this is a fantastic tool. It saves me so much time um, and I really recommend it. Um, I hope you found this useful. Do let me know um, in the comments if you have. Um, I'd love to hear from you um, or come and tell me in my Facebook group business class. Uh, if you're not already a member, uh, you'd be most welcome to come and join us and I'll see you next week. Bye.